Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I want to talk about another very quick and easy gold farm that you can do right now and that can reward you with one item that you can then sell on the auction house for a little bit of gold. This gold farm is linked to the time walking event for Mist of Pandaria that just started yesterday and that will last until next Wednesday. And during this period, you are able to do different type of things, including, of course, going and doing some of the time walking dungeons. Basically, all you want to do for this farm is just doing one dungeon. So what I would recommend you to do is go in the dungeon fighter. And here you just want to click here, random time walking dungeon, and you want to enroll for one of them. If you are playing on a tank or a healer, it's going to be really, really easy to find a group. Normally, it should not even take one minute. Then you just want to complete the dungeon. As you can see, for instance, if you have a pretty good group, it's normally very easy to do it in less than 10 minutes. Uh, really, normally you can just speedrun the entire dungeon and then you just need to kill the few bosses that are here and like that you will be able to complete the entire dungeon in again a little bit less than 10 minutes, I would say. And finally, when you kill the last boss on every of your character, you will receive this item right here, the Shrouded Time Wrapped Coin. So this item again will only drop the first time you defeat one of the final boss on each of your character. And basically, this item will allow you to start a quest. As you can see, this quest will reward you with 500 time wrap badges. And all you want to do in order to complete this quest is come here in the Timeless Isle. And you want to go and talk to the Mist Weaver Xia. And like that, you will be able to receive 500 of these different badges. So again, this is something you can do once with each of your character during this event. And as you can see, this is very easy. Basically, then what you want to do is come here and again, talk to this vendor. And you want to buy this toy right here, the portable Yakwash. As you can see, this is a toy. And this is something that you can then actually sell on the auction house directly like that. So this is the only BOE toy that you will be able to get from any of the different time walking events and vendors and this is probably one of the easiest way to make some gold with your different time wrap badges when it comes to the value and the sell rate the sell rate is pretty good it's 0 0.04 almost 0 0.05 which is pretty good for these type of items the value on average on european realms is 19.5 thousand gold which is pretty good and then on North American Realms, it's 24.4 thousand gold. So as you can see, normally you should be able to make quite a lot of gold. Of course, I would recommend you before doing that to go and check your auction house because as you can see on some realms, unfortunately, it's not really going to be super interesting. So I would say that anything below 10 thousand gold is really not that interesting and I would not really recommend you to use your time wrap badges for that. But if it's more than that, then definitely you can at least get one. And like that, you will then be able to sell it on the auction house. Keep in mind, as you are not able to farm it all the time, you need the time walking event for Mr. Fenrir to be up. If, for instance, it sells during this period, then you are not able to farm another one. So sometimes you might want to maybe try to get two or three of them and wait for them to sell before farming more. But again, it's really up to you to see what you want to do with these different badges. Also, in order for you to maybe make a little bit more gold while doing this farm, when you are on the Timeless Isle, you will be able to kill different type of rares that will reward you with different type of pets that you can then sell on the auction house. So what I would recommend you to do is when you are here, just go on that side. And as you can see, you will have a chance at finding this rare right here, Gucci, that will reward you if you're lucky with this pet. Then also here, you just want to kill all the different mobs that are around and then it will summon another rare that has a chance at dropping this pet right here. Then you want to go on that side of the island and you want to kill this frog, Buffo. Again, that has a chance to drop this gulp froglet. And finally, on top of this hill, you will find also leaf mender that will have a chance at dropping the ash leaf spitling. Keep in mind also, if you don't have the mount from Urlon, you can also kill him. He's usually around this place right here. So you can also kill him and you will have a chance at getting the mount. And then there are a few more rares that you can also kill in order to get some pets, but these are not always up. So for instance, you have here the Imperial Python that will drop the Death Adder Hatchling, 
But in order to do that, you will need to kill first a couple of Death Adders. These are these big snakes that are all around the map. Same here, as you can see, you also have the monstrous Spine Claw. This one is probably the most expensive pet from the island, but these are pretty difficult to find, and so this is the reason why these are so expensive. And then next to that, you also have, for instance, here, as you can see, when killing the, killing the spirit of Jadefire, uh, the Jadefire spirits, and then like a few more. So this is just something you can do on the side. It will probably take you just a few minutes, and you can sell any of these pets for up to like 20, 30k gold each, depending on which realm you're playing on. Finally, there is also this one right here that will drop this pet right here, but you will need to basically do a couple of things in order to access this. So this one will require a little bit more time. So this is why I would recommend you to focus on these other ones and it should only take you a few minutes. So that's pretty much it for today's video. I really hope you will be able to make some gold with this event. I will be back very soon with more guides and more videos. And in the meantime, I wish you all a great first day. Bye.